Yo, what's good, fam? I am excited to get through this week. It's been an interesting week for myself. Um, a lot of different things going on, and I'm just excited to get the victory because I know the battle was already won because Christ loved me so much that he gave his only son, and his son gave the ultimate price and was the ultimate sacrifice, and he got the receipt and won the victory for me. And so um, just with that in mind, I've been just dangling that in my, in my eyes lately on, you know, Lord, you are providing um, a way in a dry season. You are providing um, streams in the wasteland. And earlier this week, I shared on my Instagram story some of the things that I've been going through. And uh, I went live and shared just some encouragement for myself, but for other people. And it was, a, it was an amazing moment, honestly. And I'll be coming from that same perspective um, in Isaiah 43, um, verse 18 through 21. Verse 18 says, forget the formal things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing now it springs up do you not perceive it i am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland the animals the wild animals honor me the jackals and the owls because i provide water in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland to give drink to my people my chosen people the people i formed for myself that they may proclaim my praise and so all that this is saying is the lord is providing the stream the lord is the source so ultimately he can get the praise right because we are his people right but i love verse 18 forget the formal things right so i know for me um i shared some of the things that i've been going through and um it's it's been a, it's been a challenge um to stop turning around and stop looking back at those things um but to truly let it go and move forward um, and not dwelling on the past, um, past mistakes, um, just the past in general. A lot of times we can think about um, even different uh, accomplishments. We can still hold on to those things and be like, man, I want to get back to that season. I want to get back to that, get back to that. But God is like, yo, I'm trying to do something new. Do you not perceive it? Do you not see that I'm trying to press you, um, push you forward and get you from that past um, season that you're trying to stay stuck in? Yeah, you got six rings. Yeah. You were hurt, yeah, that person did you wrong, but it's time to move forward. It's time to move on, and it's time to go higher in God. Like, it's time to move on, so to speak. And that right there is a whole um, message in itself. But um, next, it just talks about, you know, God is, you know, providing a way in the wilderness, streams in the wasteland. And I love that he um, included the animals and those types of things to show us, like, if he could honor the animals what about us like we are his people like he literally said in verse 20 the animals honor me the jackals and the owls uh, because i provide water in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland they honor him because he is their source so they know that he's their source and they worship him right so what about us do we know who our source is do we know who's providing the streams in the wasteland for us right in a dry season of 2020 i mean who's been our source this whole time who's been providing who's been just giving us breath in our lungs because if you're still healed if you're still if you're still here today my goodness um you still have purpose in you and i'm not just telling you that i'm telling myself that because there's been moments where i wanted to give up this year and I'm just holding on to the promises of God that he is providing a way in the wilderness, streams in the wasteland. I am his chosen and my life is for his praise. You know what I'm saying? And like, um, not to make this video long, but guys, I really want you to rest in that fact of forgetting those things that are behind you um, so that you can move forward and not being stuck in that wilderness season of, you know, you trying to figure things out and you trying to make things happen. but letting God be the true foundation, letting God be the source so that he can provide the water, that he can provide the nutrition that you need to move on, right? If you try to provide water for yourself, if you try to make resources for yourself, um, you're only gonna be able to do it with the knowledge that you have. But leaning on God's understanding, he, <laughs> he's so knowledgeable, he's so wise, he, his, his, his ways are not like our ways, his thoughts are not like our thoughts. And so even with the things that we try to do, it's still not a, it's still not compared to the things that he can do for us. So let's let's let God be God. 
let's let God be God. Let's let God truly provide streams in the wilderness. Let's let God provide a way when there is no way. Let's let things go. Let's let the pain go. Let's let it all go. Right now in this moment, Father, I ask that you just heal the wounds of the broken heart of God. Lord Jesus, you said in your word that you look over your righteous and you deliver them from all of their trouble. Father, bless them with peace in their mind, peace in their heart, peace in their soul, so that they can heal from the inside out, Father. Let them be led by your spirit more than ever before during the season. And even before we get into 2021, Father, let them have rest and let them feel like they are a child of God. Because they are. I rebuke the work of the enemy. I rebuke anything that is not of God. Every doubt, every shameful feeling, every just insecurity, Father, we ask that you remove it, God. Change our perspective to see your perspective. Let us see our purpose in you. When we look in the mirror, let us see the divine calling that you've called on our lives. So Father, we rest in this, Lord. We forget the things that are behind us and we press toward you, Father, because you are our source. You are our stream in the wilderness. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all that you've done. Thank you for life. Thank you for getting us through this year. Lord, we worship you and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all have a great week, y'all. My goodness, God is so good. He's so faithful. He's with us. He's for us. We're going to get through this. All right, y'all.